perfectly. The easiest eyeshadow to blend. See the most extreme ways people are simplifying their lives. Her home is 84 square feet. Now on Tyra. a question do you ever feel like a complete basket case like you wake up in the morning you get ready then it's time to leave you can't find your makeup can't find keys can't find the remote control where's your damn cell phone <laughs> right or your glasses you're like where's my glasses where's my glasses oh they're, they're on my head okay or do you ever find yourself forgetting important dates like your kid's birthday or even your own like recently like somebody said Tyra how old are you and I'm like 35 32 34 <laughs> And then it looks like you're lying because it looks like you're like trying to remember your fake age. Anyway, today's show is for anybody who feels like a part of their life is spinning out of control. This hour, you're gonna learn all the absolute best ways to simplify your life, to simplify your life. But first, I want you to meet a woman who has gone to absolute crazy extremes to make her life easier. This is Dee, and she is the queen the absolute queen, I bow down to her, for simplifying her life. She decided the best way to get rid of all her problems was to move into a place where there is no room for extravagances. And that's because her home is 84 square feet. Okay, 84 square feet. So guys, look at Dee. All right, you see this square that she's sitting in? A little pink square? That's 84 square feet, that's her house. That is her house. That is my bathroom. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna go, D. I'm gonna come into your house right now, and we're gonna have a conversation in, in, the, in, your, in your makeshift home. <laughs> so, 84 square feet. You guys, let me just demonstrate this right now. I'm gonna lay down, okay? And I'm gonna show you. Stop freak daddy clapping. <laughs> Look, this is the length. You There's see this? There's plenty of room. There's lots of room. Oh my gosh. Okay. So tell me, Dee, why? Why move into my bathroom? <laughs> <laughs> well, 84 square I, foot home. I love it. And uh, I used to have a normal house. It was a three bedroom, 1,500 square foot house with a beautiful garden. And oh, that was your old house? How pretty. That's it. Yes. You know, now, when you walk into my house, I've got my kitchen to the left. Got a sink and a jug for water and a one burner stove. You turn a little this way, and that's my bathroom. And uh, so I keep all my cosmetics. And then what's that? Is that a lot of oh, loft? What is that? That's the loft. You walk through, and um, you're standing in the great room. And uh, it's about a five by five foot space, and then the sleeping loft up above. Upstairs. Yeah. Oh my gosh. It's not claustrophobic. It Where's sounds nutty, but it's not claustrophobic. But I didn't see a shower or a bathtub. I don't have a shower. I shower at friends' houses or I shower at work a few times a week. It's all you need. <laughs> so you skip showers? I do. Okay, so what, what about if you, are you single? I am. What if you want to bring somebody home for some like? Mm. Well, we just showed everybody. Two people fit. Oh wow! So <laughs> guys don't say like this is interesting. This no, is a little different. No. Well, yes, I do get this is interesting. Yeah. But uh, it's beautiful. It's okay. I think and what really, about electricity? Do you have electricity? I, I have a limited supply of electricity, so I can't I can't run a blow dryer or a power drill. Really? But uh, can I can you charge turn lights on. DVD player. You could charge a cell phone. Yeah. Okay, yeah. what about um, air conditioning and heating? Do you have that? No, no air conditioning. It's pretty mild in the Pacific Northwest. You don't, you don't need air yeah. conditioning. So why? Heat. What, what was the catalyst? What happened to make you scale um, down this much? Well, I, I took a trip to Guatemala uh, to help what? build a school. Have you been to Guatemala? I'm from Guatemala. Oh, oh, we have somebody in our audience good. from Guatemala. Hi. So, hey. Hello. Hi. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> So uh, I was helping to build a school, and, and uh, you know, I came back from that trip, and I just realized that I had a lot of stuff that I didn't really need or yeah. want. And it was actually getting in the way of me living out my life the way that I most wanted to live out my life. So I decided I had to shake it up. And uh, I wasn't sure where I was going to land, 
because I, I had an opportunity to move. I had a, a very dear friend of mine who at the time was dying of cancer, and he mm -hmm. lived in a different town. And so I wanted to be closer to him and his family. And so I decided I needed to do something that would make me portable and smaller. So why not build a house on wheels? Oh, That's it, a hot idea. It rolls? Yes, oh. it's built on wheels. Oh, my God. <laughs> I mean, I don't know where I'm going to be. Look so you just me. like go. So we could have like brought your house into the studio, girl. Well, the, the doors may have been a problem. OK, well, your brother is here. Mark is here with us. Hi, Mark. Hi. Hi. What a good looking guy. <laughs> so Mark, when your sister told you about her, what is it, 84 square foot home, what, what went through your mind? Uh, well, I, I think the first response was, this is no surprise. Uh, Dee has lived on the edge all of her life. Um, <laughs> We thought it was a joke at first. But I know there's something that really confuses you about the whole thing. Uh, I mean, just there are obvious questions. When you look at the house, there's no running water. There's no modern toilet. Obviously, there's no shower. what does shower. that mean, no modern toilet? It's composting. <laughs> oh, OK. It's a bucket with a toilet oh. seat. Hey, hey, hey. Oh, wait. So you use the bathroom in the bucket? Well, it's a, it's a composting system. It's yes. based on the Humanure Handbook, a great book. There's a lot more to that story, but we're not going to go there. I'm, so not gonna I'm, talk, I'm, I'm not going to talk about my toilet with you, Mark. OK, toilet's off limits, but, but showering is. But can I talk is... about the toilet? <laughs> OK, so is it like a, a, like a, a, a bucket thing? Can you use it, and then you have to change it and like you rinse it out and it. stuff? It's a, sure. OK, what if I came to your house, I went to a Mexican restaurant? I would... <laughs> I, you would honor me. You would honor me really? using my toilet. You wouldn't be grossed out by my? I, I'm not saying that, <laughs> and, uh, but, but you would be welcome to yes. use my toilet. And the thing is, is that, you know, especially after being in Guatemala, the people that I was working with, having any kind of a toilet is a gift. Mm -hmm. And I, I firmly believe that. I see our Guatemala girl says yes, right? Yes. Yes. OK, do you ever miss living in, a, in the, the house that you used to live in? I, um, I miss hosting a good gathering, a little party, and uh, now, if you guys came over, you know, we'd have to take turns in and out of the house. <laughs> um, I, miss, I miss my big garden. I, yeah. I have a garden here, but, you know, I'm, I'm parked in somebody's backyard, these very dear friends of mine that let me live in their backyard. So I'm borrowing space from a kid who likes to play ball, and, you know, uh, I miss those things. Yeah. But life is less stressful. It's a lot less stressful. Really? I mean, my, my utility bills, I pay, like, Six bucks a month for heat. Are you serious? Uh, I don't have to pay rent. I barter out by doing chores. I caretake an older woman who lives in the house in front of me. Um, my life is so much simpler because I'm not carrying the burden of a huge debt. Do you debt. feel her energy? She just feels like so relaxed. <laughs> I, you definitely. Definitely are the queen oh, of, of, of uh, simplifying your life. I thank take you. my hair weave off to you. And uh, <laughs> we'll be right back. Up next, tips for controlling the chaos in your car. My car is so messy, my friends have nicknamed it Black Hole. And later, handy helpers to make your life easier. And they cost practically nothing. There are sites that will help you never forget an important thing again. <laughs> this is crazy. With so much for all of us to do and so little darn time, life can quickly become a hot mess, child. But don't worry, because today we're bringing you all the best ways to make life easier. Now, one area I know many people struggle to keep in order is their car. This is Andrea, and Andrea says that her best friend, Brooke, has no idea how to keep her car in order. Her car is a hot mess. Hi. Hey, OK, so I'm, I hear that her car is so bad, it's getting dangerous. Mm -hmm. tell it's like me, a biohazard. It's a biohazard. <laughs> so tell me what happened to you. You hurt yourself in her car. I know. One time, I was actually just sitting in the back seat, and there was so much stuff everywhere, and a coffee mug hit me in my elbow. And I got a bruise for like days. Yeah, because yeah. I hear that when she breaks, the stuff goes. Arp! Oh yeah, if she turns, she breaks anything. Oh and my gosh. 
gosh. <laughs> All right. Well, um, I've never met anyone with a car more disorganized than my mother. Okay, my mama's car is a mess. She goes shopping and she doesn't like to try on stuff, so she'll like buy everything in every single color. And then she gets home and if one color doesn't fit, then all the rest of the colors don't fit. It is like a store. She got